was so close on Saturday, I guess, to that, that home debut, I suppose. It's hopefully it's third time lucky against Wigan on Wednesday. Yeah, look, everybody was hugely disappointed that the game was called off. Um, the ground staff worked really hard to make sure that it, it went ahead. Um, but sometimes things are out of your control. Yeah, we all know the pitch is not in the ideal condition, but there's a lot of other pitches at this moment in time that are uh, that are really suffering because of the heavy winter that we've had. I think one of the things that went against us at the weekend was the, the, the large amount of snow that we had in the area compared to a lot of other um, parts of the, the, um, the country and then it's, it's basically trying to deal with it. We know that the drainage is not the best and it, it needs some work on it but I don't think the ground staff and helpers could have done much more so uh, let's hope that the, um, the weather just sort of calms down a little bit and we manage to get uh, back on the grass on uh, on Wednesday night now and obviously with the, with the weather that's been around obviously it's not helped the fact that the games have been off the postponement <coughs> I think it's 18 days since since the Plymouth match leading up to the Wigan game on the Wednesday can you sense that the lads are kind of straining at the least chomping at the bit to really get going now well they are they're, they're as frustrated as the supporters the frustrators were the supporters were all uh, ready for the game I'm sure of it coming out in the numbers and uh, the players are desperate to get back uh, to winning ways and you only do that by by actually getting back out on the pitch and, and trying to re um, uh, get things going in the right order so uh, yeah we've done our work obviously we've now got a tough game against Wigan but it's a game that we're looking forward to and the Wigan match, I believe you saw them at Blackburn a, a week or so ago. Obviously, they're in a similar situation to ourselves, really. Games in hand, obviously trying to play catch-up with the teams around them. Yeah, again, their manager will be saying that, that they can't affect what other results happened with Blackburn, Shrewsbury, both teams are in around them. Um, they can only affect what they need to do. I know they've got a lot of games coming up. They've got uh, a big cup game at the weekend. But ultimately, I think they've got a decent enough squad to change it around, rotate it around if Paul wants to do that. So um, we know what to expect. We've, we've watched them closely. They'll know a little bit about us. Not, not as much as I know about them because uh, <clears throat> they've been settled within their group of what they've been doing for the last few months and I've been very successful in what they've done but we'll go into it, approach it in a positive manner and hopefully uh, get back on winning ways with a big crowd behind us, positive atmosphere and, and give them a real tough game. Obviously you mentioned that the Cup game with Wigan, obviously big match for them on Sunday, FA Cup quarter-final against Southampton, could that in some way play some part at all on you know, the outcome of Wednesday's game? Um, look, the only person that'll know that will be Paul and who need, what he's going to do with his squad. I'm pretty sure that he'll change the team around from Saturday's game against Scunthorpe for hours and then potentially back on uh, on the Sunday game. What he'll say to his players, whoever's picked against us will be going and get the shirt and keep it for a big game at the weekend uh, with an FA Cup quarter final at stake. So um, <clears throat> they've got enough players within their squad to change it around and, and not lose certain qualities that they've got of a football club that have done very well this year. And the fact that we're going to need the points just as much as us, obviously they're going to go, they're, they're pushing for that automatic promotion, you would guess they would go and try and get the, the, the victory on Wednesday night, the fact it could fire us up, it could be quite an open and entertaining game. <coughs> well yeah, um, look Paul Cook's team's play in a positive manner, regardless of being in the top two, top three, bottom three they'll go for it as well, mid-table they'll go for it, that's how he plays, so I've, I've managed to get this team when he was at Chesterfield and uh, it's good. He's done. He's done a great job at Portsmouth and uh, and uh, this year at Wigan. So you know, it's got the it's got the basic ingredients of being a good game with with what's at stake. I'm sure there'll be a good support from our fan base. I'm sure they'll bring quite a few because it's just uh, across the Pennines coming over here. So on paper, it looks a good game. Let's make sure that happens that way.